Hi folks, how you doing? Russell True Results 303.com. Check out the website, link in the description box. Coming at you today with a video on why you're not seeing results in the gym. I see this everywhere. I even had a a member at our gym come up and you know, he's kind of angry. I know he wasn't angry at me, but you couldn't tell by the way he was speaking to me because he was very yet loud and almost yelling at me. So, I mean, it, the, the main thing why you're not seeing results in the gym is time, you know, you're not managing your time well, right? So, two culprits, here it is. Here's your first one, cell phone. Next one, I see it all the time, a magazine a book, whatever. These are the things that are preventing you from seeing results. I see people come into the gym and try to kill two birds with one stone and, and you know, they want to get on that elliptical for those, you know, those cardio kings and queens out there. They want to sit there and they want to run and, and try and read a book at the same time, ride a bike and try and read a book at the same time. You know, do your research on, you know, high intensity interval training versus steady state cardio. I did a, I think I got a written article on it. I'll do a video for it so y'all can see it. I might have done a video. I can't remember. But, you know, someone who is, who is at that higher intensity, which, which could be the equivalent of sprint work versus just running long distance. If someone does that high interval training for 20 minutes, 25 minutes, in some cases, depending on the calorie burn, that can be... You can burn the exact same amount of calories doing that 25 minute workout as you can running for an hour straight. A lot of people say we don't have enough time to make it to the gym anyways. So wouldn't you rather go in there and really kill it? And yeah, it's going to be difficult, but that's when we're going to see those results happening. Just come in, kill it, 25 minutes and get out, right? Get in, kill it, get out. Don't sit there and get bored and read a book and, and watch the TV. You know, we don't have enough time in the day anyways is our excuse. So get in there, kill it, and get out of the gym. Get in and get out. You got other things you could do, but get in there, get your workout in, and get out. Next is the cell phone. I see this. I, you know, I, I do it sometimes myself, but, you know, we got to go back, for a majority of people, go back to an iPod. You know, I don't use an iPod or an MP3 player, whatever it is. Stop listening to music on your phone. Because then people are on their phone, next thing you know, we're checking emails. We're texting. Who knows what else you're doing on those things. But that's what that, that's what that gentleman was arguing about. There was a girl, he said she's been on, the, on that piece of equipment texting. And in six, seven minutes, she only did one set. And as I was training my client, she was still on there for another five minutes. So she's probably on there for 15 minutes to do four sets. So go back to an iPod, turn the music off in general. Just listen to the radio, uh, the music that's on in the gym. That'll, that'll really make you want to get out of the gym quick. I'm not a fan of the music that's there, but you know, I listen to it. I try to keep the phone out, out unless I'm conversating with clients and I have my phone with me because sometimes I have to text clients and things like that. I'm guilty of these things too. The book reading, I'm not, but the texting and, and checking emails and things like that, I'm guilty of it myself. Next is rest periods. What are your rest periods like? I know we have these set rest periods where they're trying to say, oh, if you're in this rest, rep range, you should be resting this long. You should be resting this long. You should be resting this long. What I've come to discover is just because it says two minutes doesn't mean you have to do two minutes. I've been able to get away with almost a 30 to 40 second rest while lifting in the four to six rep range. Now, of course, yeah, I'm not able to do as many sets as I would like, but play with your rest intervals. Just because someone told you do a minute to a minute and a half, see if 45 seconds get the job done. Because once I've been able to cut mine back to 40 seconds, 30 seconds, I realize I can still get the same amount of reps in that time frame. So it's going to be trial and error as well, playing around with your rest range, your, uh, your, your rest intervals and see what is the minimum amount of rest that you can get and still be able to lift that same amount of weight? I think that's why CrossFit sees a lot more results than someone else. You don't have time to look at a phone. You don't have time to read. It's go, 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 go. It's circuits. Go, go, go. You're resting 30 seconds. Get back on the ball. You know, you're getting in, you're getting out. You're getting the workout in. 
Do the same thing in the gym. Put the phone away. Put the books away. Get in there. Kill it. Kick butt. Get out. You got better things to do. We've got food prepping we need to do. We've got stretching we need to do. Right? We've got reading that we need to do. Maybe your TV show's on. Maybe you got to do yard work. You got better things that you could be doing with this time. Get in the gym. Kill it. Get out and get on with life. All right? I don't want to be in the gym as much as the next person. But you know what? I realized that that I feel better and my day is not complete if I don't get into the gym. Be able to relieve that stress. So get in, kill it, get out. Stop putting all this other stuff. If you've got, if you've got a, a workout partner, don't be talking to them. Quit sitting there and talking. I've, felt, I've been, I've been uh, guilty of this myself. I could do one workout in an hour. Then all of a sudden I'll train with another trainer or something. That workout just took me an hour 15, an hour 20. Because there's a lot of talking going on. You know, this isn't happy hour. I see that too. Two people just sitting there chatting. You know, if you've guys created that much of a bond where you can talk in the gym for that long, talk to them outside of the gym. Get in, kill your workout, and get out. All right, so there you go, folks. Put the phone away. Put the phone away. Put that magazine away. Put in work and get out of the, in and out of the gym as quick as possible. I know you got better things to do. All right, so subscribe to the channel. Share the videos, like the videos, stay tuned for some more videos.